What is up you guys? Uh, today we're actually gonna be picking up or getting a 3G brake booster master cylinder um, and we're gonna be using that on a DSM. You can actually install it if you like on a 2G DSM or on a 1G. Uh, it makes a pretty good difference on the brakes. Um, we're gonna go pick that shit up uh, just shortly here to the local junkyard and uh, yeah, I'll be back once we get there. We're gonna get it from here. All right, so there's a clip that you have to undo and the clip actually lives here on this side. Hopefully you guys were able to see it. Uh, there it is, it's a little better. And then there's a total of four, four nuts holding the actual brake booster. You can see two on this side here. All right, and then hopefully I'll be able to show you guys then there's two living on this side. So I'm gonna have to remove all of that and that should pretty much uh, get it somewhat free inside of the vehicle, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll be back. All right, so I got them off. One thing to make a note of is I actually use the swivel and it comes in hand. If you guys have a swivel, try to use that. Uh, most of your Mitsubishi Galants and Eclipse 3Gs, they'll have 12 millimeter hex heads on the nuts to remove the clip. Obviously, you can take it off. You're gonna have to take it off by lifting this edge here on this side here and uh, yeah, removing it like so. But yeah, nothing to it. Just make sure you have a swivel. It makes life much easier, okay, when removing these nuts. All right, next in line is the battery. This one, we got lucky. The battery was actually not installed. So the battery, and then we have the brake booster line leading up to the intake manifold. You're gonna want to remove that. And uh, following after that, there is a connector for the low level switch, if you will, here on this side, you're gonna have to clip that off. We're gonna clip it from underneath, get as much of the wiring harness as possible. And then you're gonna have to undo these. If you have line wrenches, this would definitely be the time to use them because these can easily strip. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and remove all that stuff and then pull this off. Okay, so we got the intake manifold brake booster line undone from the intake manifold. Uh, we got that undone. And then uh, we got the brake lines, like I said, undone. This connector here for the for the fluid level, you want to clip it. Uh, you might you might reuse it, or you can extend the one you have already in your DSM. Okay. So now here comes the fun part. You're gonna have to wiggle this out all together. Okay. Good thing is the battery is not here. So yeah. And there you go. That's it. That's how you remove it. It's not that bad, honestly. All right, so that's pretty much how you remove a 3G Mitsubishi 3G from a Galant or Eclipse uh, brake booster and master cylinder all together. Um, stay tuned, guys. I'll probably be filming the install video once we get to it. Once with the once the time comes, we'll end up uh, doing a video on that. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'll, um, and stay tuned, guys. I'll check you guys out on the next one.